Hello and welcome to Penguin TV. It is recorded by George Eflis, a.k.a. Wiffy Penguin, and you can follow me on Twitter at Wiffy Penguin. Penguin TV is hosted by PureMTGO.com and sponsored by MTGOTraders.com. Get an 8% discount off all orders over $50 when paying with PayPal or credit card. And you can check out KeepYourGames.com and get an extra 20% off when trading paper for digital. Enjoy the videos. Hey everybody, welcome back to round four. Um, we are up against Naoto, who is most likely running a four color version of the deck we are running. Let's take a look. So many Delver of Secrets in this event. Ooh, someone had a Richardson port. Oh, he's playing Accumulated Knowledge. All right, look at these Richardson ports. Oh man, I wonder if Dupont placed. That would be great. So we're up against an Accumulated Knowledge control deck. Good luck there. I chatted with him briefly about this last week uh, when the pre-releases started and he was asking if I had seen any accumulated knowledges I would like to play first. Um, no, I would not like to mulligan. Triple Library of Alexandria? Yes, please. Oh, I totally skipped over my attack phase. Oops. Oh man, that that was silly for me to do. Um Okay. We're going to demonic tutor for a force of will. Intuition, that seems fine. You get one accumulated knowledge. And we get a force of will. And this time we will not forget to attack. Lasai, he should be on fourteen. Oh, there we go, now he's on fourteen. <laughs> You may draw three, sir. Um, let's see here. If we spell pierce this, yeah, we'll spell pierce that. Wow, force of will, huh? All right.
So he would be on 8 right now. I'm going to kick myself if this ends up mattering. Alright, so what do we play here? Um, let's do a little bit of math. If we... Gosh, we go down to four cards, we go up to six cards, we go to eight, and then we could play library, and library in response. Um, yeah, why not? Okay, so we're gambling here with the double library activation. And the way we're going to get two is by holding control when we hit the first one. Alright, so now he would be at two life. He would be dead on my next attack step. I think we lose. Well, not quite. He could lose to his Mana Crypt. Alright, so... It's all about the Mana Crypt flips. So, like I said the last time that this situation arose, um, we normally concede to Vault Key. However, he has Mana Crypt, and until he can present either a game win or remove the Mana Crypt, we will not concede. And there is the removal of Mana Crypt, slash game win. Concede. Good game. Alright, so game number two. Let's get these extra annuls in here. And we will get um, these dismembers out. That seems about right. We'll just go into super counter spell mode. That that was rough. Um, I'm not sure where we lost that game. He did not end up. He did not end up at three or less life. So, forgetting to attack wasn't the worst, but it still was pretty terrible. Good luck. I will keep this hand, and I will lead with a library. Oh, I messed that up. Oops. I'm so terrible at magic. Um... 
chore. This time I'm not going to be an idiot and I'm going to draw a card from the library. So let's see, in game one I forgot to attack on turn two and in game two I forgot to draw a card on turn two. Um, do we want to mental misstep that? Yes. Yes, we do. Alright, so ugh, we could lose to a time vault here, but we won't lose to a time vault here. So, a lot of libraries. Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Underground C. And Spell Pierce. Yes. And fantastic. Draw a card. And attack with my 3 2. So, <laughs> I'm going to have all four Library of Alexandria's out on the table. Oh, I wanted to play Wasteland that turn. Oops. I got caught up in the library craziness. We'll draw cards now, um, while he's in the attack phase and can't really respond to the library activations. And let's just go ahead and kill that underground C. and then go to attack with our insect. Four. All right, um, 
one, two, Snapcaster Mage for Spell Pierce. And spell pierce your gifts. And attack Zors. We are going to get rid of polluted delta here. We already played our land, right? Yep. So we can draw five cards this turn. We will, we will be happy with just drawing three there. Well, Wasteland is Talarian Academy. Um, so here we're just going to, oh man, we have so many good draw, uh, cards. We're just going to discard a bunch of cards. Brainstorm. All right. So our hand is just like all gas and counter spells. And there we go. He eventually succumbed to the triple library. There it is again, Sakim. Uh We want to keep it just like that. Good luck. Oh, uh, this seems awesome again. Just the nuts. The library is so good. Would I like to take a mulligan? No. So here I can play library and use it immediately and then cast a lotus petal. Oh, and he kept a one-lander. That's going to be rough for him with our double wasteland draw. And library is just doing a metric ton of work. Especially against a mana screwed opponent. Um, alright, so, what do we do? I guess, I guess we just start discarding stuff. Um, we'll put back the, a null, and then the wasteland, and discard a null this turn. So, we didn't activate library last turn, um, I was just going to end up discarding the card anyway. 
We will activate it now, though, so that we get a chance at um, a land off the top of our deck. And we're also going to Snapcaster. Get a threat down on the board so that we're not just playing Drago. And Spell Pierce your Force of Will. I wasn't really planning on doing anything anyway. I mean, it probably would have brainstormed with my Lotus Petal. But this is just better. We still have... <laughs> our hand is amazing. And on top of everything, we have a Wasteland. So we'll, we'll draw a card and... Alright, land. Nope. And we're just going to discard both gushes here. Alright, finally, some gas. Um, bum bum bum. A taxis? Man, library is just so good. <laughs> but also, there you go. You've got mana now. You can do things. We'll use up the most useless card. Um, yeah, we will. Force of will you. Right back with this mental misstep. Uh, that was pretty dumb. We could have just mental misstepped the Mana Vault. That was a misplay. I was so enamored with Force of Will. I just threw away a Force of Will and turned off my library for no reason. Um, hopefully that will not come back and bite us in the butt. He's probably sitting there thinking, what a terrible player. And I agree with you. That was, that was awful. Let's see what we reveal. So we will not play our land. That way we can uh, try and turn on the library again next turn. We don't really need our land either. See, now here's a spot where maybe I could have kept one of those gushes to turn library back on. But this is the first event that I played this deck in, so I was bound to not see things not see things turns down the line. Um I'll let that resolve. I'd rather draw a card than stop him from drawing one card out of the top three. 
Or, well, stop him from filtering. I'd rather draw my card with library since I've got all this. And did he not hit a land? Oh, I guess he didn't hit a land. Well, that was, uh, the event. For, uh, four events in a row. Hooray, Whiffy. Um, it's pretty nice considering I came off of a streak of, like, five or six losses in a row. But that was Delver of Secrets, Library of Alexandria, what I have referred to in the videos, in the titles at least, as DOA, Delver of Alexandria. Um, that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next time.